What to do, players and trainers? <laughs> yeah, we made it. We made it to the PCL D League Season One Finals, and it's up against Platinum Howler. If you guys haven't figured it out by now, but Platinum Howler is so basically Platinum Howler is actually he's a good buddy of mine. He's he's from Canada. He's going through, through some stuff, but he's been uh, <laughs> ever since I faced Sharpedo Forty Three in. EGL season one, he, he kind of knew what kind of player I am, and he's probably studying me since then. Uh, good reason why he, was, he had a very, very good match uh, the first time we faced. Um, I feel like this is still slightly loud. Yeah. Uh, I think right there is perfect. But yeah, so this is my team. What do I have? Okay, so just to kind of let you guys know, I have a relaxed Charizard. Why? reason why it's relaxed is because I'm rocking an earthquake I want to be able to take I want to be able to be defensive not drop my special I might my attack or my special attack or my special defense I can risk um, you know risking some speed investments but yeah so that's why I'm how I did that I'm, I have solar beam I have dragon pulse I have flamethrower and I have earthquake for the um, the 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 the, the uh, heat tran heat tran heat tran um this time around i ran the calcs a heat tran adamant set cannot kill me with a soreness unless he you know what um tapu lele is also bold bold just max hp max defense i am rocking calm mind and i'm also running substitute i know the only thing i cannot really really touch after a few calm minds is like the heat tran but if i get rid of heat tran i think i'm good um on top of that i have a figgy berry um, a lowland muck this week. I have a payaba berry hit um him on top and a choice scarf Zai dog. I, I really really <sighs> This team was hard to bring together really really hard because remember the first time around I was super Worried about the Asogor. I think Asogor is still a huge threat to come this match Victini I had to leave on the bench. He does not bring the Asogor He doesn't bring the Asogor. He doesn't bring my lot either Which is not bad Okay, so my lead 100% always was Zach Hat because of the Shaka. He doesn't bring Mega, no Mega Lottie. This is an interesting one, guys. It really, really is. My key components to winning this game are both Charizard and Zap Cat. I don't know. I don't know if a lonely nook was even to bring we could bring them. I know it's, uh, has. All I know is that if I get rid of Heatran, and I get up a substitute with Tabu Lele, I think I'm looking pretty good. But I think Zero Aura was my designated lead from the beginning. No Cell Gore, so that's actually really really nice. I don't have any Rock Setters, which kind of sucks for me. But if he does lead off with the Golurk, I'm able to get a nice nice. Um, a nice knockoff, a really nice knockoff. Um, see what he leads off with. All right, so we're gonna lead off Zero Aura here, as he does lead off with the Tyrantrum. Seeing this, I think he might lead off rocks. So I'm gonna go for a few bulk ups. If he has roar, good on him. I'm just gonna get off one, I'm gonna get one bulk off, uh, one bulk up off. Well, no, if he has stealth rocks. Last time he was, <sighs> so last time he brought this, he was actually a, uh, what's it called? A, uh, what is it called, man? Is he, he's either Sash or Scarf. 
No, he's not Scarf. So I feel like he might get rocks up here as I'm gonna go for a bulk up. Early, 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 early on. Ooh, Stealth Rocks. Okay, he did set up his Stealth Rocks. I could try going for two of these, but I think a knockoff is ideal here. Knockoff. If he switches in Goldurk, that's a bad, bad, bad call. He switches out. No, that's not the Goldurk. Oh, that's a horrible call. That was a horrible call, but he is the Z-move. He is Z-move. So I'm gonna bulk up one more time. I, I'm a, I have enough HP to, to live and kill with another knockoff. So I'm gonna bulk up one more time. He might go for that, that one move, what's it called? He goes for a regular Earthquake. Ooh, through the Shaka, I kill next turn. That's what, 50%? More or less? Why'd I do nothing? Because I'm at plus two Shaka. He needed to go for the Z move. He needed to go for the Z move. Knockoff kills from here now. Because if a regular knockoff did about 45%, this should do just enough. So as I was mentioning, that switching there was not ideal. Really, really not ideal. Man. And Zero Orla only had one job. Come in, set up, break down some walls. Break down some walls. If Golurk is gone, I'm free to come in and go for a rapid spin. Um, Payapa Berry is now rendered useless. Um, everything on his team gets hurt by a thousand arrows. That's also fantastic. I think his best bet is to try to save this thing. But what on his team wants to take a knockoff plus a thousand arrows like seriously I don't even think Drapion takes a thousand arrows from a regular I can't believe I think he expected me to switch out I don't know I really don't know uh, Drapion man Zara Aura man I love this mod I try to draft an LDL try to draft it round two <laughs> Arthur took it I was so mad <laughs> well I wasn't mad mad but I was pretty upset so he, he's he's kind of in a pickle here. I actually do I'm not life for it. Plus two zero aura is such a threat, man. Why is plus two zero aura such a threat? He is gonna switch out though. Okay, so that's nice. He's gonna sack something. Being this thing, five of me, one hundred percent fine. That was a crit. He was choice scarfed. A choice scarf, but not faster than my Zera Aura. That is crazy tech. That right there is crazy tech. He's faster than Charizard. That's what it was. He's faster than Charizard. I'm just going to go for another knockoff. It's super safe to go for another, another knockoff. Um, remember his whole team. He has Star Raptor. Thousand, thousand, um, I mean, Plasma Fits hurts. Um, he has Heatran. Heatran, um, a plus two... Um, Knockoff, um, not plus two knockoff, but plus two close combat hurts, I think. I think. Unless he's. <sighs> Damn, that early. I, I don't. Oh, he couldn't do anything because he was choice scarf. He had to switch out. He had to switch. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay, so he made the right call. Right call, right call. Switching out into. I guess. I guess, I don't know, I don't know. You guys can let me down, know in the comment section down below. Was a choice guy of Tarantum a good call? I think it's good prep, I really do think, because like, it outspeeds Victini and outspeeds Charizard. So that's really, really phenomenal, good tech. Um, he can't bring in Top of Coco because that would obliterate, obliterate. He is on the air balloon. So he's on the air balloon. So I need to see what a plus two kill. If he is, you would have had to be max defensive for a plus two close combat not to kill. You would have to be max defensive for a plus two. He switches out. That's good. I like that. I like that. I like that a lot. So my question is, are you choice scarfed? How much is that doing? That does a lot of damage. That is good damage right there. Alright, we don't know if he's Trace Scarf, but he 
wouldn't be able to kill me if anything. Um, I am at plus one now, so that kind of sucks. Um... I think I need to bulk up one more time. 128. That does nothing. He's not faster than me. He's not banded. He's not faster. All right, so we're going to get back up. I need my uh, my defenses to be okay. A-okay. Um, I'm able to go for Plasma Fist here without a problem. Yeah, Plasma Fist. I don't see a problem here. He goes for a quick attack. I think he's trying to kill a crit. He deserves a crit, in my opinion. My opinion, he deserves a crit. Except that Zera Aura, man. Pss, he's already the MVP. Another crit. Oh, dude. That sucks. That really sucks. Actually, what does a plus two Zera Aura... What? I think it matters. I think it matters because I would have had to click close combat, leaving me at neg one already. Where actually I would be a slightly lower in HP. Slightly lower. Dude, he just it's funny because he can't bring in Coco. He can't bring in Coco because of the fact that he gives me the electric train. And then it's GG. Drapion. Why is dude, if I would have just oh my god, there's the Drapion. There it is. Man, I feel I feel so bad, man, for Platinum. Like, this is not even worth it, man, this game. Um, so, like, actually, Austin, if you're watching this, man. Oh, Scarfed? There it is. 62. Oh, if this kills, if this kills... Zero Aura, my beast. The bulk of play, my god. Bulk up four days, my dudes. Bulk up four days. I feel so bad. I'm so sorry, Platinum. I am seriously super, super duper sorry, man. Oh, dude, what? This can't be Scarf 2, can it? I can't believe you brought Scarf again. Plus 2, Electric Terrain. It doesn't kill. It doesn't kill. Oh my god. It does a lot though. It does so much damage. I can't even switch it out, really. <laughs> I'm just gonna click that. I'm gonna click Plasma Fist. I'm gonna click it, guys. It, it, it's a roll, like a maximum roll, if he has no HP investment. I don't want a maximum roll, I don't want to see a maximum roll. Okay, no maximum roll. That is good. That's perfect. Dazzling Gleam. Super, super unfortunate there. Um, Alright, so getting rid of this thing is actually just... All I really need to see here. Uh, I'm going to go into Crypto. He's going to know I'm sorry, Scarf. I'm able to click Thousand Arrows, or I'm able to click Crunch. Um, does Crunch kill from the range that I'm at? Zygarde. Dude, I hate Arthur. I hate Arthur because he took, he took my beloved Mon, the one Mon I needed. <sighs> Man, the one Mon I needed. All right, yeah, because basically I'm, I'm able to click thousand arrows here and then <sighs> unless he's scarfed. Not Scarfer, then no, that's impossible. That would be impossible because Zero Aura went first. So, dual Scarfers this week. I only brought, man, if I would have brought Victini. I mean, what? Well, even if I would, no, like Victini really couldn't do much. Um, oh, dude, it sucks because Platinum Hell has had a bad, bad week. This is not even his A game. Dude, like, seriously, this is not his A game. Really isn't. I'm actually just gonna switch out into him on top. Him on top only has one job. Um, and to hit this thing with the pursuit, then just leave. Uh, I really don't wanna win a title like this. It's not over though. It's not over whatsoever. But man, oh man, Zera stinking 
aura, bro. Zero aura. Oh my God. This is why I love, look, two mods I always want to draft. Zero aura, Vitini. You guys just saw why I want to set a draft zero aura. Like seriously, he can't even switch out. I'm just going to pursue trap. Which really doesn't get me far. I'm faster. Obviously I'm faster. That does nothing, by the way. Just want to let you know, Charizard or whoever. He's at an egg one. Um, oh, the fly move. What does it get, fly? Oh, he gets fly. He gets fly? Okay. I think I still live it though. Yeah, because of the neg one. Um, but toxic? Toxic, yeah, like seriously. I think toxic will do more than pursue within two turns. <laughs> I just gotta make sure I can kill. I uh, do connect to toxic. Uh, if I can kill with a thousand arrows to go there, um, I'll be happy, truth be told. Let's go for an earthquake now. Good, good, good play, good play. All right, so you can go down here. Um, thousand arrows to a regular Gulleric. Even if you were max HP invested, I kill. Yeah. At 25%, I do kill. So Crypto comes back in. I just click. It does 29%. And I think he's slightly above that, actually. I'm gonna risk the biscuit. I'm just gonna click thousand arrows. This game is basically done. Like you would have to be defensive max. He is. Okay. I should have clicked crunch. Simple as that. I should have clicked crunch. I should have clicked crunch. Whoa. Are you serious? Are you kidding me right now? Okay. Oh, you gotta be kidding me, man. I, you gotta be kidding me that it's because I didn't click crunch. So he was, oh, no wonder this, no wonder the Z-Mood didn't do much. Okay, that's fine. Um, I'm just gonna knock off Flame Charge. That's actually a really good set. That's actually a phenomenal set. I'm a knockoff here. He probably has Earthquake. All I need is to bring it low enough to where I can kill Earth Power. Okay. That crit kind of mattered. <laughs> that crit mattered. That crit stinking mattered so damn much. But my crits mattered too on him. All because I didn't click that was it. Oh my god, because I didn't click crunch. He actually had a defensive set. That is amazing. That is amazing, my guys. Dude, that was amazing. I, I, I misplayed that so hard. I, I, I don't know what I could do there. Like, seriously, I have the earthquake, but he's at plus one now. Seriously, he's at plus one. That's GG, my dude. That is amazing, Platinum Howler. You deserve this championship. Um, 100%, man. I think you deserve this 100%. I do hope you have Stone Edge, man. Please have Stone Edge. Please have Stone Edge or have Hidden Power Rock. You deserve this win more than I do right now. Zero Over was fun to use, but man, oh man, my heart's pumping. I want to see, I want to see Platinum hit win right now. I want to see Platinum win because I don't have Hidden Power Fire or Hidden Power Fire Blast. That should kill. That should kill. That doesn't kill. What? Dude, he had that. He brought that back. He had brought that back, man. What? He didn't. What? I, I I threw the game. I threw the game. I threw the game. What? Hold up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if I can get Platinum on the call. Let me see. If I can.
No way, man. No way. I want to see if you get on call. Uh, I would like to do an interview though, like right now on spot. See what happened there. Um, sure, sure. He just needs a few minutes, but guys, hang around. Wow. <laughs> Talk about me throwing a game. Man, I seriously, seriously, seriously threw that game there, man. I'm opening up Discord here. Um, send the call when you're ready. I'm going to tell him. Uh, sweet. Okay, so he's going to send a call when he's ready. But that was my biggest choke yet. Like, I mentioned it so much that the only way he lived... Like, I'm looking at the cop. Like, if he was, let's say, adamant, 252 in defense, 252 in HP... I only do 29 to 35%. But let's say he was a relaxed nature, which crazy enough, I think his, I think he had the mods necessary for the win. He clearly had the mods necessary for the win. Was he ready for a bulk up zero aura? That's a different question. That is a completely different question. Dude. It says I only do 27 to 32%. I think I got a mid, like a low, low roll. Wow. <laughs> We're champions. <laughs> we have two titles of championships. PGL season one, PCL Steely season one. Guys, I'm happy. I'm happy, but I'm also kind of sad. Um, as mentioned, Platinum hasn't been having the best week. Really, really hasn't been having the best week. I messaged him yesterday and like, dude, he still didn't even have a team prepped. I took all my time, well, majority of my team time yesterday to spend time with family, but also to prep for this team. Um, but like, as I was prepping, the first mod I prepped for, Zero Aura. And look what Zero Aura did, bro. The things that Zero Aura did this match. <laughs> I don't know, man. Seriously, I don't know. Don't get it. Um... If you guys listen through this whole thing, cool, awesome, welcome. Um, if you guys supported me through the whole journey, I, I want to thank you really, really. Th thank you so much. Um, we made Charizard a kill leader, and Charizard finished with the last kill. Um, let's do let's do the Sharpedo 43. Come over here and sit down. As the champions, would you mind sharing your stats with me? Um, yeah. Except I have to type them out real quick. Actually, let's go on showdown real quick. Um, and I can actually discuss them real quick, man. So let's discuss some stats real quick. I did them all in my head, so I need to put them on showdown. All right, and then I will give him the sets. So, Figgy Berry, Adamant, who, 170, 76? Okay, 76, okay. So basically, a 252 Adamant HP, okay, HP Adamant, one, 180 in attack, knockoff, Poison Jab, Poison Jab, Shadow Sneak, 
Dude, that crit mattered so much, man. I was so damn scared. Uh, send a call when you can. Okay, I'm gonna send a call while I do this. All right, so sending a call right now, just because that was, oh my gosh, what a game. <laughs> that, that did not go as I was expecting, I have to admit. Uh, dude, the, man, dude, to tell you the truth, man, I, I said, there's no way you ran a bulky Golik. I was like, there's no way. I, all I had to do was click a thousand arrows, the game was mine. <laughs> Uh, was I wrong? Was I wrong indeed? Max defense. Z move with no attack investment. I had twelve. I had twelve leftover EVs in speed. Twelve in speed. Oh, that means you outspent my Charizard. No, never mind. You didn't. Charizard wasn't that slow. Uh, yeah, but dude, what were your thoughts on the Zero Aura? Like seriously. Uh, I totally wrecked me because I know that I focused a lot of my strategy on physical offense the first time. So just leading with it and spamming bulk up was pretty smart. Um, and I, I, I didn't really have much to, much to outspeed it. The only thing I had to outspeed it was a Scarf Drapion. Gotcha. That, how, much, gotcha. how, how much HP did you live on with that? Two. Two HP. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I could have done differently to maybe not sack so many things, but I, I think I did what I could yeah, to yeah. give myself my best chance. Yeah, without a doubt. Um, I thought the, the Star Raptor play was actually pretty smart, though. Try to get as, as much chip damage as you could. That was. I thought you were gonna be Scarf. No lie, Star Raptor was gonna be Scarf, but I was wrong oh. on that end. It was well. I mean, it was it was it was the same spread. It was the same spread as the first time, except um, like it was still defensive. But I put choice band on it this time. Gotcha. Choice band. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Well, that's. Uh, I don't know if that damn. was the smartest view or if I should have just done 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 scarf because I had I had double scarf, which I like. I don't I I don't remember if I've ever brought double scarf to a game ever. Seriously, but I love double I scarf. I knew that. Yeah, I knew that. I knew that Tyrantrum wasn't gonna outspeed Zeraora, even when it's when it was Scarf. But I was hoping I would at least force you to close combat it, because you. I, I was thinking that I could live uh, two knockoffs, um, and I would I, I would force you to drop your defense. But uh, the first one was a crit, so that plan went out the window. Yeah, that's true. I'm pretty sure, yeah, I didn't get to run the Calx, but I'm pretty sure a plus two knockoff was not going to be enough whatsoever. Forced me to close combat, which would eventually lead to... Um, I'm not sure what would happen after that, though. Probably the same play, go into Heatran, big, another close combat against Star Raptor. Then I'll be at Neg, too. Okay, more or less, yeah. If only... If only I had... A rock move over fire blasts. Then I thought you had Stone Edge again this week. I actually might have been able to win. That would have been the most insane comeback you've ever seen. But <laughs> I don't know why I had. I'm not. I don't remember specifically what I had fire blast for. Um, that's probably on me for in prep. I mean, otherwise. Like maybe Venusaur, I guess. Probably, I did think about bringing Venusaur. Actually, I actually ran through three teams uh, just to prep for this. I was either thinking a um, Chlorophyll Venusaur to outspeed, like uh, to outspeed Tapu Koko, outspeed and put things to sleep. I was thinking about that. Um, I thought about Vitini. Did you think Vitini was gonna come? Well, I thought. Yeah, I thought you might try to bring it again. I thought yeah. I was thinking I, I was thinking maybe you would try like Z Sunny Day or something if you wanted to bring it cuz first time I knocked you out with knockoff, so you'd take reduced damage from that. Yeah. And Z Sunny Day 
see sunny day blue flares uh, my team doesn't really like i thought about that yeah drought plus um blue flare that was that was good um yeah man jeez you have any questions for me um What I got? Well, I never saw your Lele, so what kind of Lele set were you, I it guess? Was, that was just a bulky set. It was a defensive. Uh, it was a a bold 252-252 um, defense and HP calm line substitute set. I only had... I needed Heatran hmm. gone in order to sweep because it had just straight up um, Psychic and, and Moonblast, which covered everything oh. but the Heatran. So I was really Let's hoping see. that thing would be gone. Yeah, well, I think I just, uh, yeah, I definitely am regretting not putting Ancient Power on Heatran as the last move. So you had Fire Blast, Earth Power, Flash Cannon? Yeah. I, yeah, I should have had Ancient Power over Fire Blast. But, uh, I mean, I guess Fire Blast, Fire Blast hits, what? it just hits, like, hit him on top harder. Yeah. It hits it hits Venusaur harder. But I mean I Venusaur guess. if it ever came in it probably would have outsped me and clicked Earthquake or something, so um it would have hit Executor. it would have hit Claydol, Executor harder, yeah, but those are all things that I shouldn't really have worried too much about. I think the the Charizard should have been the main the main focus and yeah, I think yeah, oh well. But I stayed up till like I stayed up till like 6 a.m. just making sure I had something ready for today. Damn. Wow. That's, I appreciate that, man. That's That takes determination. Uh, but it's over. It's over, and now you can focus on IBL, man. Right. Well, it's hard, it's, hard to, it's hard to really focus on it, but like my team that... I, I, I built an IBL team right before I built a team for this game last night and i think it's pretty stupid but i have like a i'll, I'll tell you all of my yeah stats. yeah don't tell me you're well, well, still on call bro i don't would it go up before this one goes up ibl no i haven't played it yet but it goes up it goes up next monday or supposed to but when are you recording I have a... i'm still recording this video that's why oh that's why i'm like don't <laughs> oh, tell me to say <laughs> okay all right so yeah yeah that's a good idea i will i will uh, if, if you if you must know, then I will uh, tell you uh, off the record, I guess. Yeah, yeah, off the record, we'll, we'll leave that. <laughs> uh, but yeah, um, dude. Um, so okay, that makes sense. Why you switched into the Golurk on my on my um, my knockoff? I... Yeah, Golurk was Golurk was kind of a dedicated answer to Zeraora because I knew with. Um, the Z Crystal and a lot of defense investment that you wouldn't be doing a ton of damage to me. Yeah. But uh, yeah. Shokaberry was annoying. I mean, I knew that you had that the first time too, but uh, um, with the defense boosts and the bulk up, bulk up just was too much for me to handle early game. Yeah, I, I think I, I really misplayed that part because I didn't run any calcs during that moment. If not, I, I just I assumed I was like, oh, since. He didn't, because I ran calcs for Z Earthquake. That was basically it. I was like, oh, oh Z, right. Z yeah. Earthquake. It's like, even through my plus two, it's like, you should have been doing, I would say, if I'm not mistaken, without the shuck, it was like 200% minimum. So with my HP investment, you probably would have been doing like 80, 75 ish to 90, probably more or less. So as soon as I saw you did like what twenty five percent, I was like, oh, this that's just because he didn't click Z earthquake. I didn't really take in consideration you had no attack investments and stuff like that, which would have helped me out in the long game with Zygarde at the end there. Yeah, I debated, I debated for the Z move on Golurk on whether or not I wanted to be uh, Rocky MZ or Flying MZ because the main target for the Z move was Araquanid. Because I didn't want you to be able to come in against Golurk and set sticky webs. Yeah. So I eventually decided on Z Fly so that I could also 
do uh, a ton of damage to him on top, which I also brought Golurk to block spin so that I could keep rocks up for the whole game. Smart, smart. Yeah, uh, the plan the plan kind of went south as soon as... Uh, like, I was hoping by leading Tyrantrum, I would I would force you to go in to hit him on top immediately. Um, and then I could just bring Golurk out every time hit him on top came in and maybe try to chunk you with the Z move so that um, you would basically be fodder for any other mon on my team. But, uh, so that, yeah, that was the plan, but it uh, went south pretty quickly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, unfortunately, man. Um, but yeah, no, my game plan was seriously, like, I, I think I was mentioning how I was this. It was really bringing um, the Zero Aura. I knew Zero Aura, I just, I needed Zero Aura to dent your team as best as possible to where I can come in with Lele and set up or its job was really to dent I didn't meant it to almost sweep kind of dent which was ridiculous I for for a second like the only thing I was missing was the electric terrain if you would have given me electric, electric terrain anytime sooner that would have been a that would have been horrible to watch so what was your what was your full Charizard set because I I built I built assuming that you would bring a very like particular Charizard set, like ex like knowing that I would be air building Heatran basically. Yes. Um uh, I can so that set. Where is it? Yeah. My Coco was my Coco was actually assault vest. So that yeah, you I would switch, So that I would switch in I would switch into Charizard because I was expecting you to this rather than be Dragon Dance. Yeah. Um, okay, so I, I, I thought that you would be um, substitute over. Um, over earthquake. I thought that you would substitute over solar beam. Over solar beam. I was expecting like I was expecting like substitute flamethrower, dragon pulse, and then a ground type move. Yes, um, I, so I did consider it though. Substitute. Yeah, I thought you would like try to click sub, expecting my switch to Heatran, so then you could, um, then you could break the balloon and get the ground type move off against me yeah why are you so defensive though what was all the defense investment for it's actually to live the stone edge from full hp from heatran since the last oh, time you, you were able to just like throw off the, the stone edge which really threw me off and i was like oh shoot so this time around i wanted to make sure i would be able to like probably get off a of dragon pulse to break it air balloon hit it with an earthquake lift the stone edge and then force you to make a hard prediction of what you're gonna do after I lift it. The only way you killed was assuming you crit me, but I was like hoping you didn't. Yeah, I guess. Um, I guess if I had, I guess if you, you had like a more offensive Charizard set, uh, and not had so much, uh, and not had so much HP investment, then. Um, I would have killed. Fire Blast probably kills from from that range, and I guess and I guess um, looking at you were like really slow Charizard too, so my Heatran actually would have outsped you, I think. It did. Even with well, without the even flame charge. Uh, without the flame charge, yeah, I think it outspeeds. So uh, if only if only I could have like if I had just clicked Earth Power, yeah, against the yeah. Muck, and if I had somehow managed to knock you out from that range, I don't know. I don't know if that would have been possible, but by the sounds of it, um, I think I actually win without the flame charge because I didn't need the speed boost to beat the Lele. You did not. And if my air balloon is intact and I outspeed your Charizard, then that's all I need. Wow. Damn. Can you believe that? I... Dude, like legit, you know, I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you. I was baiting. I was actually, what is your heat transit? Just because I need to see how much that crit without the crit, it would have done. Yeah, I'll pass it to you. Okay, so that's my full set. Mm. Zero aura. I put 100 HP. Yes, 100 HP. Okay. 
Um, damn. Okay, 252. Wow, you were offensive this week. Super offensive. I think, yeah, it's a muck. Would have not been able to live that. Well, what is that? 88 because I took the rocks. No, I took the flame charge. That's what it yeah, was. Yeah, but I would have. But if I had gone for earth power without. Um, if I had gone for earth power without uh, setting the flame charge, then I would have had to do like 90% to you to knock you out. Would you have done that much? This is my 252. So a modest? No, you're timid. Could yeah, I had so to much. be. I had to be timid to outspeed Zara or uh, with the flame charge. No, you, you made the right call. I think because um, looking at this, supposedly a 252, you only did 49 to 58 percent with Earth Power. So the then, heck? how did I knock you out then? Uh, because of the stealth rocks plus the flame charge damage. And then the you crit. Were, you were nowhere near. But the crit. Sixty like percent. Did I get a crit on that turn? Yeah, yeah, it was a crit, which I it's it was understandable because I I got two crits already that game. Oh, well, I think, yeah, okay. Well, I I don't think the, I don't know, I don't think that crit. Um, if I had got the crit, like without going for the flame shards to knock yeah. you out, then that would have mattered. Yeah. Because yeah. um. Yeah, that 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 would have that would have mattered a lot because uh, then I, my then you would have been able to break my uh, balloon. But of course, um, I could, I like the second knockoff from Muck wouldn't have been able to kill me. Because, no, but that wasn't yeah, actually. My item was gone. That wasn't the plan though. The plan was get off one more knockoff and then get off a shadow sneak to get the maximum oh, chip damage I could. Cause I, I right. knew at that point I was I needed Lele to live one flash cannon, and hope that psychic in terrain was enough to chip you off. Like that was what I was betting on. Yeah, and that yeah I yeah that that definitely would have happened. I think I think you would have been able to work to win that with uh, with the max HP Lele for sure. Yeah, because what? Because how much? That air balloon did almost like fifty percent after I popped it. Yeah, that was a pretty high roll, actually. That was a mid to high roll. Following knockoff, once it's gone. 28 to 34. So you would have been at 25%. Get off another shadow sneak, which is 11%. You would have been barely living to where top of the Well, I had no investments, though. So it's like, I don't know. It's like super... Wait, let me see. Yeah, Lele would have killed. Oh, you know, well, depends. Unless Flash Cannon would have killed. Let me see. Um, oh, wow. Actually, you would have killed the Flash Cannon. Potentially. Because, no, never mind. And max HP, Lele. Got the rocks. No, I would have lived. You needed, like, yeah. crits after crits. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Well, the crit, it helped. The, the, the crit on Mug helped a lot. Same same way that the I, when I crit the the tyrantrum that helped me a lot because i didn't have to click close combat which would have brought me down at neg one so eventually you would have done the same thing with heatran bait and thing which actually i can't believe i actually fell for that bait but that was a good call that was a good call i even thought about clicking plasma fist I really did <laughs> but um dude i would have that would have been a comeback Sh clearly surely I was rooting for you at the end. At the at the end there, I was just like, dude, if this if he wins with a comeback, I, I think you deserved it, one hundred percent. You had the second best record in the league. Um, you had a pretty good season overall. Why didn't you bring the um, Megaladios? That was my only question. I was shocked you didn't bring it. Uh, because it didn't do anything the last the first time. That's true. <laughs> it's basically it's basically like. The only reason I brought it was to not like get bodied by Venusaur, and Venusaur didn't come. So if it didn't come again, then it w I felt like it was kind of dead weight. Gotcha. So I wanted gotcha. I wanted to switch things up a little bit, bring Golurk in that slot instead as a better response to Zeraora and also as a spin blocker, make sure I could keep rocks up, um, and also kind of as a kind of a little bit as a bait to try and get uh, a big. 
hit off with uh, with the no attack invested supersonic sky strike. <laughs> that's thumbnail. That's thumbnail material right there. Uh, yeah, um, for sure. If I if I hadn't already used supersonic sky strike as a thumbnail in in the past, I would definitely be using a Z fly go lurk. I what does it get? It gets fly, right? Because that's what I thought it was. Yeah. 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 yeah it's based off fly. Yeah, I figured. I thought <laughs> that was that was funny to watch. Uh, but yeah, man. <sighs> Thank you for the finals. It was a uh, yeah. Congrats, congrats on your what second second draft league championship. This is my second in this year. I actually have one already in LDL, which is my other league. That's my main league. I was the first champion ever there, and then I was the first champion in their off season, and then I was the first champion for PGL the revamp, <laughs> and now I'm the first champion for the D league <laughs> in PCLs. I just I only get usually like the first titles after that I usually um, I don't do so well But yeah, this would be my well, first championship to, Yeah, I guess I'll have to wait a little longer to actually win one of them if I if I ever get lucky enough to, to Make another one. I'm pretty sure you will man. Uh, you're you're getting there. You sh clearly I've seen your stuff You're you have the talent man. I can't wait to face you again though. That's for sure. Yeah, same. Uh, in what league? We'll have to see, man. Because I don't think we're in any other leagues right now together. No, I yeah, I only see myself while I'm I'm doing IVL right now and yeah. Uh, yeah. trying to trying to stick with it, give it my give it my uh, best shot for the rest of the season, um, and then I will probably have one other season of uh, LET, which is. Um, the league where I kind of got started uh, in USUM at least, yeah. um, and that's that's just like a Wi-Fi non-upload league. So I'll just play that for fun nice. uh, over the nice. over the. Well, I think it's gonna start in like August. So sweet, yeah. And I think LDL will be starting in January. So players and strangers, I hope you stick around for that. I will leave Platinum Helder's little icon there. I hope you guys go subscribe to him if you haven't already. Soul Link is back as well, so check that out, guys. But with that said, <laughs> we're champs. So you guys are amazing. Stay blazing. Squid out. All right, and and.